log recording and it is 3.48 p.m. It is still the 8th of July, 2022. Weaver John C. Resume, California. Zombie extraordinaire. Fuck this shit. I got pissed off when I saw some of those YouTubes regarding pastors and regarding political pundits having fun with the political with the uh, pastors. I'm like, you got to be kidding me. God, how are we going to be taking care of something like this, I wonder? You know, answering some of the uh, comments that they had on there or questions on it. It's one thing if I'm commenting on something else about uh, cruising or anything else. But getting into the political point of views, I'm reminded of how much screwed up my old damn town of Roseman is. Oh my God, they're political. They're apolitical. They're... A Donald Trump land. A maggots. Very few of them are not. They try to keep their heads down. But me, I have to keep it up. I have to keep it up and, and say something about it. What the fuck? They use me either as target practice or they don't talk to me at all. Fine, I'll deal with don't talk to me at all. But at least I know what I'm talking about. But how to help out others? That's a different story altogether, isn't it? Especially when I was listening to some of those back east or back in the south. Oh, these guys are, yar are roaring and screaming their heads off. Gotta follow this guy. Gotta follow that guy. Because they want to heal my head off. My God. Some of the pastors they keep running into. Let's see. Midas Touch does it, and Young Turks. These are the only two. These are the only two jerk offs I know out there, who are fanaticisms, going after fanaticisms. <laughs> they got nothing else better to do but go after fanaticisms, just to tell people what kind of fanaticism is in the first place. My God, that's that's funny, that's scary, that's tragic right there, and I don't know what the hell to do about it. <laughs> oh Lord Almighty, I don't know. They talk about a good thing here and there to talk about other things, and I don't know what the fuck they want. They want to control people's spirit, entity, control of something, control of what? Their, th their will? Probably. After hearing some of the guys that, that the Midas and Turks were going after... Political pundits are one thing for the Young Turks. My statue also goes for the other religious people. And I've seen other pastors. Maybe they're so-called pastors. Maybe they're not. I don't know. But having a field, a field day with their own brethren out there. Who they may or may not consider brethren who are freaking out left and right. It's bad enough seeing Western Westboro Baptist Church going crazy. They got defrocked a long time ago. Got out of the Southern Baptist Conference. And then became their own worst nightmare. Terrorizing people left and right. Because they think you're right. And it's family run. That's a family run church. Hardly anybody gets into it unless they're married into it one way or another. Maybe dying out for all we know. Well, we got other churches like that, mega churches, who are trying to get the crowd going, saying, you will listen to this thing because I, 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 oh my God, you should have heard me in the past couple of videos at this point over here. I was driving myself crazy. Yeah, I could have been one of those guys. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, the church of John C. Weaver. I'll tell people about that one. I, 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 don't you know what I am? How to piss off God real fast. <laughs> oh, this, oh, this kind of thing would really, really, really piss off God. Because I'd be going on great, I've cocked on this one here. 
Anything and everything will be gone on that damn thing. And salt this, and salt that, and salt, and salt, and salt, and salt. Wait a second, I'm not through insulting you yet. Because everybody else is insulting us. We have to fire back. We, 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 I, 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 blah, 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 blah. It's like I'm waiting for the head to just take off from my head, pop it off, off the spinal column. Nerve clusters and everything else just... Acting like they are starship separator, uh, you know, separation gear. The saucer section, and the battle, in the battle section here. Head pops off. Then I'm ready to fight. While the head's going, wee. Seventy-seven fun in the, in the helm controls. Of the head just spinning it around. Oh, no, I got it. Adventures of Baron Munchausen. <laughs> that British flop. The man in the moon. His head is supposed to be the intellectual, and the body is purely animalistic. In the form of a human. Robin Williams does this, did it so well. At the end, the body is still looking for the head. The head's floating around in the cosmos, thinking he created everything. <laughs> Sometimes I think those guys are like that in the first place, you know? I mean, it's easy enough to use that kind of theatrical shit on them in the first place. What else? Let's try to figure that crap out. Come on. Okay, so you got this one particular pastor over there that got me pissed off on. And this particular schmuck. I don't even know why I picked up on this asshole in the first place. I mean, I really don't. He's a scary son of a bitch. In his own weird way. I thought I'd come across pastors that would... Me being would bring something to whatever it is, but this asshole. Apparently, the young Turks have picked up on this asshole. Greg Locke. I never heard of the son of a bitch. I never heard of the fucking son of a bitch. But he's out there and he's going crazy and left and right and then, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I stopped listening to his ass because. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He was also doing something about witchcraft. Okay. Well, the extremist with a burp his ass would ever come come across like that. Or maybe he's screaming and yelling at people because he's sick of churches doing certain things that he don't like to do. And therefore, he's got to call it against him. He's got to call the the Holy Romans, you know, the Holy Spirit on him, and, and and do this and do that. <sighs> I'm watching this stuff. I'm like, you gotta be fucking kidding me. There is no way this particular liberal can ever come up with a comment strong enough to tell this guy, "You're a joke." I'm a liberal, I'm a Democrat, and I'm calling you a joke. I'm calling you out. Pastor Greg Locke, who needs to be locked up into a padded cell with a lifetime of Xanax. Needs to be crushed into his food, into his water supply. Along with saltpeter. Never knowing when he's going to be getting this stuff, he'll just starve himself away because he's afraid. That's fine with me. I've got no great love for an asshole like this in the first place. He's going to be treating people like crap at this point. He yells and screams at Democrats who may or may not be part of his congregation. 
They have to be extremists. They have to be Republican. They have to be brain dead. But he's going to be dropping up, up a storm and he's going to be having a field day. And they post it over online left and right for the political pundits they have fun with. Don't take clips of the damn thing. Post it on their, on their websites as a rule of warning or something else going on with these guys. And I'm laughing at it. But I'm also concerned about it. This is kind of red. My own damn town would be falling in the first place. Except we, we, we did have a couple of times since I've been in this town for about 10 years. Extremism is coming in trying to convince the people in the town to follow them. But there had to be certain ways you could contact them on social media. They would tell you the time and place of their own worship at their own churches. That you'd be part of their group. Very selective in their, in their recruitment policy. Now, we've got a few Baptist churches. We've got a few non-denominational churches in this place. I actually do care about the, about the people in this town. There's a lot of people belong to the churches, that's for sure. And I am just not comfortable with any of the brick-and-mortar stuff. It's not getting used to the technology of this stuff. It's just... <sighs> The church I came out of a long time ago, and then the other churches I wandered from place to place in the San Fernando Valley. It just I wish I could have came home. I wish it was just like home all over again. First United Methodist Church, North Hollywood. They had a change throughout the years to, to keep their property values the, to keep the church on property, to make sure that they actually had congregation in there. I mean, they're doing everything else they can to teach and educate and be part of the community. And it's a great thing. And every time I keep walking through some of those areas, I'm feeling I should have been... And I've lost track sometimes when I'm going through my mind of what the place looked like. And then what I used to do in there, I feel comfortable. Sometimes I feel like I wasn't exactly comfortable because I wasn't quite sure how to be comfortable with God. I suppose if I ever came back, I know there'd be different, different clergy, always changing. But the thing of it is, I would still try to find a place and just sit and just say, God, can we talk? There were times that I had did that. There were times I actually did that in the church. I actually talked. I talked to him, but I wish I heard the conversation afterwards. Church choir practices, things going on through my life, and they know how to handle things. I went in certain areas where I felt comfortable in talking. I mean, it gave his church choir a little bit of a break, so I decided to walk a little bit on the property, find a quiet spot, and talk to God. Just Felt comfortable, felt right to do that. Sometimes I wish I could do that again. In my youth, I was very troubled and I would go to a church and talk. I would talk. Of 
course, we'll be talking about getting the hell out of Dodge. One way or another. But... If I could. If I could do that all over again, I think I would. These days... I need to keep up the spiritual connection. I need to know that I can feel and really depend upon God. I know God will probably depend upon me and upon my acts and works. So I have to do whatever it is I gotta do. Even if it's just being. That's the thing. Hard thing for someone to understand is to be. To be. And it's hard to understand what that means sometimes. Being. What are you? What, are you a fucking mook? Are you freaking crazy? What are you trying to do? Me? I'm just being. Well, what the hell does that mean? To you, it means something like we have to work. We have to be at work. We have to be in action, motion, something. Instead of just sitting and just comprehending. What are you trying to comprehend? What? 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 I don't understand. I'm stressing out right now. And you're doing this to me? Are you some kind of freak? Get the hell away from me. You must be a freak. I can't deal with freaks like this. Don't you know my brain can't deal with this? You're... Your, your. That's what we're dealing with right now. Exactly what we're dealing with right now. I don't care how many times I keep putting a damn shit out there on, on video for people to watch or not to watch. They just don't understand. They don't get it. They don't comprehend it. They don't want to comprehend it. And I'm never the asshole has to answer for the damn shit. It's just I'm an observer. I'm observing all this damn shit happening at this point over here and I have to make some kind of interpretation of the damn thing. And when I do, nobody gives a shit. Nobody understands the damn thing. It's like I'm speaking gibberish. Maybe I am. Maybe I haven't understood what gibberish is all about, but I know some of these people over here, they don't want to know about it. They don't want to deal with it. So, I'll deal with what I got. And right now, I don't know what I got. Except hunger pains. Time to get dinner. But I don't know. If I had actually a conversation with an angel at this point over here, it would be weird. No. Overdue. Overdue. Tell them, guys.